everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to print out your very own uh, printable folder. Now uh, this is in a series of patterns that are sort of representative of traditional origami pattern papers and um, they have uh, lots of fun different uh, traditional geometric shapes that you might see and um, there's actually four different color variations there's uh, blue green uh, uh, red and then purple so I was just going to show you guys really quick here how to put together the purple one and um, this is a really fun traditional origami that I really like it makes a really cool little folder when you're all done so this particular origami when you download the PDF you'll notice when you open it up that there's actually two sheets of paper included the first page just is this larger rectangular piece which is the base of the origami and then this is an insert to kind of finish things off and make it look a little sharper and cleaner and you don't have to have this but it does really make things look nicer if you have it so um, this particular origami it's not the base is not square but um, it's still a traditional origami and there is a way if you're actually using a square piece to fold and cut off the top right of or fold it down so that you can actually say that you started from a square piece if you are interested in that but for this kind of a printable it doesn't really work very well for that so I'll just have you guys cut from the beginning but what we want to do is start off with the color side facing down fold your paper in half open it up and then we're going to do a door base by folding both of the outer edges towards the center now when you do this you might want to be just a little shy of the center because it doesn't need to be right on the edge and you want to kind of keep in mind too where your pattern is try to get right even with the edge there where it starts to turn white flip it around here and do the same thing on the other side open it all up and then we're going to take each of the four corners and fold up so that we can create a nice little triangle. Now again on this too, we don't want it to be too right on the edge because what we're going to be doing is folding this back over. If it's too close, it actually gets in the way. So try to get kind of close to the edge here when you do this. Fold it over. You wind up doing that four times. And then like I said, we're just going to fold straight back into the center again rotate it and flip it so that we're looking at it like this. Now I'm going to take the right side and I'm going to fold it over and it sort of helps to kind of smooth this out by running your fingers along the edge so that it can curl and roll over really nice for you. We're going to create a crease that runs even with this edge and what it's actually running even with is the triangles that we folded over too. So this should be a really easy fold that comes pretty naturally to where it is and you just want to try to stretch these two sides out to make sure that you get it really nice and straight and clean. Turn it around and we're going to do the same thing on this side and again it kind of helps to kind of smooth this out so that it rolls over nicely and we're getting that nice crease here on both sides to create a nice edge right on the edge of the triangle that's underneath this paper. So we have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to take both of these tabs and just tuck them underneath the opposite side there and when you fold it in half you'll notice that we have our finished origami. Now the inside is not bad uh, certainly but if you want it to have a little extra color or s s make it a little cleaner you could put this insert on the inside. If you're using this as a photo frame to stand and have a photo in the middle you certainly don't need to use this particular paper in there for that but um, if you do want to put it in there we just with the color side facing up just make a nice a, um, valley crease there and then just to put one side in both sides here so that it can shimmy all the way to the edge and then get the other side in too. And this can be a little tricky because it is a little tight but you want to kind of shimmy it around until you can get this to snick all the way to the back. And then we want that center crease that we made to kind of line up in the middle. And then we can close it off and we have a nice completed little folder. Now this particular origami like I said is a it's called a folder because there's so many fun places and little pockets. There's a pocket here, there's a pocket here, flip it over there's a pocket here and on this side too. Inside there's pockets on each of the four corners and even inside the entire center. I think these make really cute um, you know, uh, place cards for parties. Um, you can also use them to hold receipts, small lists when you go shopping, um, all sorts of fun different places and ways that you can use it. So it uh, features these colors that are uh, real common for traditional origami patterns of these geometric styles. 
they're considered more imperial and fancy colors, good colors for that. So um, you can get the downloadable for this free from my website. There's the link in the description below. You can also click on the little eye in a circle throughout the video and a little pop-up will come out at you with a link to my website too. And um, there you can find this and lots of other different variations of this particular origami and others that you guys can print out for free and uh, make your own fun projects at home. So I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!